Hello and welcome to Purple Pie Studios. So recently I was working on a character animation project where I needed to rig and animate the face of this character in different angles with different facial expressions. So I decided to record the entire process and in this video I want to share the techniques that I used throughout this animation project. So let's start. Let's first understand the Loomis method. The Loomis method is mainly used in drawing the human head in different angles but it is also helpful when you are rigging and animating a face in After Effects in Fake 3D. So this is the human head and this is the line that intersects and bisects the head in equal halves. This is the line that crosses the mid portion of the eye and this is the line that touches the bottom portion of the nose. These are the jaw lines and in on each of the sides of the head there are some ellipse shapes. So this is where the ears belong. Now when the character is rotating its head sideways, you can notice how the jawline is distorting in perspective. One side of the jawline is more exposed to the camera and the other side of the jawline is not much visible. You can see the same for the ears as well. One side of the ears are more visible to the camera and the other side of the ears are not going to be much visible. The same is true for the line that is bisecting the head. So this is also the line that is crossing through the mid portion of the eyes and also touching the tip of the nose and also the mid portion of the mouth. So this is how you can also move the nose and the eyes and the mouth while rotating sideways. Now if the character rotates it more, then at the side view it is going to look something like this. This is the jawline and this is where the ears belong. So right now the ears are completely exposed to the camera and only one side with jawline is actually visible to the camera. So this is all about the sideways movement. When the character is looking up, the jawline is going to distort something like this. And also you can notice that when it is looking up, the ear lines are actually moving slightly down or shifting down a bit. And also the nose and the eyes and the mouth is going to move in this direction. So when it's looking up, these are the lines that are crossing the eyes and the nose. Now when the character is looking down, this is how it is going to look and here also you can notice that the ears are actually shifting a bit upward in this particular view. So this is a basic overview of the Loomis method. So the very first step that you need to follow to rig the face of a character is not just directly jump into After Effects and start with the rigging process but to stick to Illustrator and do all the necessary frames in different angles for the characters that are required or what angles that you want to rig for this animation. So for this project I actually needed these angles and I followed the Loomis method to first illustrate all these angles in Illustrator itself so that I don't get confused in the rigging process in After Effects. Now we are going to talk about the facial expressions. So for the facial expressions only the two facial elements are responsible. One is the eyebrows and then the mouth, especially when you are working on 2D flat style character. Now here is a very simple face of a character. Now if I change the shape of the eyebrow and rotate it and also change the mouth and rotate it a bit, it is going to make an angry look. If I rotate it the opposite side for the mouth and the eyebrows, it is going to make it a sad fill. Now if I change the combination of the rotation of the eyebrows like this and slightly change the shape of the mouth, it is going to look like the character is curious or a bit confused. Now if I change the eyebrows and the mouth like this, it is going to look like the character is surprised. So like this, just changing the shape of the eyebrow and the mouth, you can change the expression of a character. Now I already thought of what are the expressions that I would need for this project. So in the illustrator itself, I did all the work. So I illustrated the character with the expressions as well so that it is already finalized that how the character is going to look in different expressions so that I don't get confused in After Effects in the rigging process. So in After Effects, I have used the slider controller in Twig Basil to rig the face of this character. So to rig the face using the slider controller, you have to create three set of keyframes. One for the right extreme, one for the left extreme, one is for neutral, and then there is the topmost extreme and the downmost extreme. So to make these key poses, you can use 
Although layer properties like position, skill, rotation, even the opacity, or even the shape path property to create these key poses. And once these key poses are done, you can link it using the slider controller. So for rigging the face in Fake 3D, I have used the 2D slider controller. And then to rig the face with the expressions, so I have rigged the mouth using a 1D slider for different expressions. But for the eyebrows, which is also involved in the expression, for that I have used a 2D slider. For the eyebrows and the mouth, I have simply used the rotation property and the shape path property to make the three set of key poses. For the eyebrows, actually I could have even used the 1D slider to rig the eyebrows but here I have used a 2D slider because the center is the neutral pose and all the sides have the different expression for the eyebrows. Now once the rigging process is done, you can animate the face of the character using the slider controller and you can basically control the face with these controllers. So this is a basic overview of how you can approach for a facial expression and facial rigging in After Effects. So this is the process that I have followed for this facial rigging and you can also use this process for your animation. I hope you learned something out of it which you can use in your future projects. By the way, if you want to learn how to rig the face of the character using the Twig Basil in full details then I have a separate tutorial on it. So you can check it out, I will be providing the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. So that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubts regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down below. I would be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.